Hello everyone and welcome to Cam Tai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. The first thing I want to say is a happy new year to everyone. I hope that you have a prosperous 2024 and live a life and enjoy a life and love everyone around you. Today we're going to be working on a cup of cozy. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and have a look at our tools today. We're going to be using this Boss Lady cup that I've had for a really long time. Um, we're going to use this as our model to make our cup cozy. We have a category four yarn this is acrylic an acrylic pink yarn from mainstay mainstay is a brand of walmart and it calls for a 4.5 4 millimeter hook i have a purple button here and a 4.5 millimeter hook um we also have a measuring tape so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the bottom of this cup here. Um, we have to get the base for the cup. Now I'm going to tell you here now I am not good with measuring tape. I'm not good with math period. So I'm just going to point out the section of how wide you want this to be. Now the bottom of this cup is almost 3 inches. The bottom of the cup it's right before three inches so that's how far out that we need to come with this cup so let's go ahead with this cup cozy rather so let's go ahead and make a magic circle i'm still trying to perfect doing this i still have a bit of a difficult time um getting it together but i'm, I'm getting there practice makes perfection so we're going to go ahead and make these half double crochets into this magic circle. We're going to put 10 half double crochets into this magic circle. You don't have to use a magic circle if you don't want to. You can just do a simple chain five and then slip stitch into the first chain and then continue on from there. But for now, we're going to make 10 half double crochets into this magic circle. And when I come back, I'll be at the end with 10 half double crochets. Okay, so we're back. Now I'm going to go ahead and cinch this closed, pull it good and tight so that that hole is closed. And we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch and then chain one. I'm about to chain two here, but it's actually a chain one. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet, two half double crochets into each of these stitches, into each of these half double crochets from the previous row. You're gonna put two into each stitch. At the end, you should have 20 half double crochets. So I'm going to keep going around with these two double crochets into each stitch. And when I come back, I will have 20 half double crochets. Okay, so we're back and we have 20 half double crochets going around. We're going to go into that first stitch and do a slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one. So now we have our second row of half double crochets going around. We're going to continue on. But first, what we're going to do is measure. Now, I can just from looking at it, I can tell that it's not quite there. But just in case, we're going to go ahead and measure. So it's not quite there just yet. It's right over a little bit under two inches. And again, we're going to go right before the three inch mark. Okay. And a little bit, maybe a little wider than that. 
So let's continue on. We're going to make another row of half double crochets going around. So I've already chained one. I'm going to go into this first stitch with a half a double crochet. And in the next stitch, we will put two half double crochets. Again, we're increasing. In the next stitch, put a half a double crochet. And in the next one, two half double crochets. And just continue doing this all the way around until you get back to the end. And when I come back, I will be at the end of the row. Okay, so we're at the end of the row. And now we have four rows. I'm going to go ahead and do a slip stitch. I'm sorry, it's three rows. It's three rows. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch. And we're going to go ahead and measure again to see what this looks like on the bottom of the cup. So we're almost there. We're quite, we're right after this two inch mark here. I told you I'm not good with math. I'm not good with measuring tape. But we're getting there. So now we're going to go ahead and measure the cup, the bottom of the cup. As you can see, we're almost there. So we're going to go ahead and add another row to make it a little bit wider, just to get a little closer to that three inch mark. So let's go ahead and insert our hook back in and chain one and we're going to go ahead and make another row of these half double crochets so now i have my final row we're going to incorporate the stitch marker in here um now we're doing our we have to crochet in the back loop so i'm going to go ahead and do my first crochet my first single crochet in the back loop i'm going to add that stitch marker in there for the first stitch this is going to eliminate your line that goes down your project by having your stitch marker you just want to remember to make sure that you put your stitch marker so now we're just going to single crochet in the back loop of each of these half a double crochets and this slip stitch this this uh single crochet in the back loop is basically so to give it a little bit more depth so that your the bottom of this can curve um, underneath your cup when you turn it the right way around so i'm going to continue on with these single crochets in the back loop of these half double crochets and i'll be right back okay so i'm now at the end i'm going to remove this stitch marker and we're going to go ahead and do another row of these um, single crochets in the back loop but first let's go ahead and measure and put our piece on top of the bottom of the cup on the bottom of the cup as you can see it's fitting perfectly it fits nicely lays right on top of the bottom of that cup so that's why we do that uh, single crochet in the back loop um, so to give it sort of an edge to it a quote-unquote edge so it fits perfectly around the cup so we're just going to keep going and continue on i'm just showing you what it looks like when it's sitting on the cup so that's why we need to do another row of um, um, single crochet in the back loop so that we can bring that edge up a little bit further the bottom of that cup so we're going to go ahead and continue on and we're going to do another row of single crochet in the back loop i'm just putting two single crochets in these first two and i'm going to go ahead and put my stitch marker back in always remember to put your stitch marker back into that first stitch so that you know what your beginning of your project is so we're going to continue on i'm going to continue making these single crochets in the back loop and when I come back, I will be at the end of the row or the beginning of the row, however you want to see it. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we're now we're at the end of the row. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my work 
um, we don't want to continue going around in a circle because we the handle part is in this section. So we're going to leave a space for the handle part of the cup. So I just went ahead and I just chained one and turned my work. And now I'm going to go in and just go around with half double crochets into each stitch. Okay, so we're getting close to the end of this row here. I'm just going to put these last few half double crochets into the row. Now, before I get to the end, I'm going to stop. I have about four half double crochets left from the previous row. This area is where we're going to put the handle of the cup. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let me grab my cup and just put it in there and it should fit nice and snug I'm just gonna show you what it looks like from the side and so as you can see that bottom portion of the uh, cup cozy is right at the bottom of the handle for the cup so we're just gonna keep going back and forth we're gonna go back through with another row of half double crochets so you want to chain one and turn your work we're not going in a circle anymore we're just going around back and forth so i'm going to make some more half double crochets into this row and when i come back i'll have a few more rows of this half double crochet going up the side of the cup Okay, so I've done a few more rows going up the side of the cup. Um, as you can see, it's slowly going up the sides. It is not covering. There's an, a good, nice gap there for the handle to fit. And it's coming along the sides of the cup. Very nice. So we're just going to continue making our way up the side of the cup with a few more half double crochet rows. Eventually, we're going to get to the point where we stop so that we can put our little latch on there to open and close your cup cozy so i'm going to add a few more rows of this half double crochet until i get to the uh, point where i want to be and then we'll continue from there okay so i've made a few more rows going up the side of the cup so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the edging of this cup holder um, I'm sorry, this 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 cup cozy. We're going to continue around with our half double crochets. I have a few more rows going upward on this. We're going to put the cup back in and just have a gander at it. Look at it and see what it looks like and where we are so far. So I'm going to turn it on its side so you can see how farther, further up we've gone onto the cup. As you can see, there's still a bit of a gap there, a fairly big gap there, but we're going to fix that. We're going to put some single crochets going around, and that's going to bring these edges closer to the handle of the cup. And we'll keep going in rounds. You can go up as you can go up as high as you want to with this cup. You can take it to the very edge or stop at a certain point. But we're going to continue on from here and we're going to start making some single crochets going around just to top it off a little bit, just to make it look a little cleaner. So I'm here at the end of my row and I'm going to add another two single crochets to this end of the row. I apologize for not being in the camera. I try so hard to stay in the camera. We're gonna do one single crochet going across into each of those rows. When making a single crochet, it usually it gives you a good um, visual of where to put your hook. So there's like an already made hole there to put your hook in. So you're going to go into each of these rows of those half double crochets with a single crochet on the edge. And we're going to make our way down to the end. And when we get to this portion, I'll show you how to fix that. It's an easy fix to bring it together. I'm going to go ahead and put 
two more single crochets here these last two on the edge of this cup cozy here and now going into this next stitch here i am going to make a slip stitch so that's the next in the next um half double crochet from the previous row you're going to do a slip stitch and as you can see the edges are nice and rounded and that just comes from me putting those three single crochets in the beginning we're going to continue on and make another single crochet in this stitch and another one in the next half double crochet from the previous row or rather it's actually the back loop single crochet back loop um, in the previous row so we're going to continue on and make some more single crochets getting to the other end of that edge and then right in here we're going to do a, a slip stitch and that's just going to bring everything together continue on with your single crochets in each of these rows here on the side and this is just basically to make it look prettier to clean up these edges I love to do a nice aged single crochet just to finish it off and make it look complete make it look a little neater and I'm going to continue on until I get to the end of the row So now we're at the end of the row and right in here is we're going to put another three single crochets into this stitch here. We want to make sure that we go around the cup, put enough stitches in there so that it doesn't fold in. So what I'm doing here is I'm going into that very first single crochet, I'm going into that very first row, into the very first half double crochet of the row and I'm just going to continue going around with these single crochets when I come back I'll be at the other end of the row okay so we're almost at the end of the row here I'm going to keep going but I want to go ahead and grab my stitch marker and put my stitch marker in the very first stitch of the row we need to do that so that we know where our first single crochet began this is the first single crochet of the three that i made in one stitch so i'm going to go back to my uh where i stopped at and continue on so now we're at the end of the row i'm going to go ahead and remove this stitch marker and go ahead and slip stitch into that stitch i'm going to bind off and cut off this yarn here And slip that through I'm gonna go ahead and weave this into here but as you can see it looks very nice and finished off it's a nice clean look to it with those single crochets I love using single crochet on edging let's grab our cup and see what it looks like and so far so good as you can see those single crochets brought everything together very nicely closer to to the um, handle of the cup so now we're going to work on the portion where um, we want to adjust the cup so that we can add our button and put our little strap on there to keep it nice and secure onto your cup if you want you can keep going up a little bit higher I'm going to stop here at this portion because it doesn't make sense to go all the way up to the top when you're drinking your coffee you don't want to put your lip onto your cup cozy and get it all wet so you want to have enough room so that your lips can touch the cup and not mess up your cozy so we're going to continue on with this here I'm going to weave in these ends and I'll be back okay so i'm back and i have all of my ends weaved in including that one that was in the middle from that magic circle and it's coming together so pretty everything is aligned up like it's supposed to be on the bottom coming around the edge of that handle it's much closer so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the adjustable part the little strap that goes um, between the handle of your cup cozy so I'm gonna count down from three stitches I'm gonna skip those three 
that I put in before those three single crochets. I'm going to skip three single crochets and go ahead and single crochet into the fourth stitch. So just do a quick slip stitch into that stitch and in that same stitch you're going to put a single crochet. Go ahead and put another one. We're going to put four single crochets going across. So that's your second one in that next stitch. Go into the third stitch and make a single crochet. And your final single crochet into this fourth stitch here. Go ahead and chain one and make another row. You do as many rows as you want that's going to fit through your cup. Your cup might be a little wider than mine. So you may have to add a few more rows to fit into the, to, to, to go around the cup properly so that it fit through the cup handle. So I'm going to continue on with these single crochets and keep making a few. And when I come back, I'll have a few more rows of single crochet. Okay, so as you can see, I need to add a few more rows, but first we're going to measure it out and see how this strap is fitting through the handle portion of the cup. I'm going to go ahead and put the cup into the cozy, and as you can see, it's protruding just a little bit on the outside. I'm going to add a few more rows, and then I will be back. So we have a few more rows that I've added and I'm at the point where I am satisfied with how long this strap is. It's going to a perfect place where I want to add my button onto here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a stitch marker to the area where I want to put my button where I want it to be nice and cozy. And we're going to go ahead and continue on with our project. So now I have these straps here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another row of some single crochet here just in case I want it to come out just a little bit further. So we're going to add one more row of this single crochet. And when I get there, I'm going to go ahead and chain, I mean not chain, but just go ahead and cut off, snip off your yarn and go ahead and pull that through and weave in these ends and when I come back I'm gonna have these ends weaved in okay so now we're at the portion where we want to add our button I am going to cut this part out um, I'm going to actually do this the ratchet way because I can't find any of my darning needles which makes me crazy because I have a whole pack of them so I'm gonna come back I'm gonna put this button on and I'll be right back okay so we have our button on here I'm gonna go ahead and remove this stitch marker it was just a placeholder so I know where to put my button it's such a cute button so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have another gander at it put our cozy onto our cup put that strap through and it is perfect so right here is where we're gonna put a little chain loop here so that it can attach properly so we're gonna go in with another um, we're going to go in with a chain and we're just going to do a real quick chain so that that this chain can fit around our button snugly and i think i put five um chains in there i made five chains once you have your chain go ahead into that first single crochet and do a slip stitch and there you go you have your button hole for your project i'm going to go ahead and Give this a gander and let's see what it looks like put that strap through there and go ahead and fasten our button on to our project here and it just slips right over that button and makes it nice and easy i am so in love with this cup cozy i love the little button little purple button that goes with the pink so we're going to continue on from here now I'm just going to take and do some cutting um, we're ma I'm making sure that it fits in there properly and it's not moving around it's nice and snug um, so now I'm just going in and I'm going to cut off this excess yarn here and pull that through and go ahead and weave in these ends so that is the end of our tutorial as you can see our cup cozy fits nice and snug 
onto the cup we have our cute little button here and again you can go up higher if you want to it is completely up to you how you do this but i love this cup cozy it is a tad bit big for this cup but still it is secure it will not come off the button is sewn on there very nice as you can see the bottom fits perfectly onto the bottom of that cup with those half double crochets and those single crochets in the back loop it really helps to set the bottom of this cup so i just want to thank you for watching this tutorial in the new year i am happy i was able to bring it to you your first uh camps i handmade creation in the beginning of 2024 so i want to thank everyone i hope you have an awesome new year happy holidays and have a great day